Hey guys, Gamer Joe Coffee here, back with Plunger. Um, so, I let this go on for a little bit with these running and, and processing from the last episode. We set these up. Um, hasn't quite processed through all of them yet, but it is working its way through them. Um, it's got through the gold and most of the iron. So I'll let this run for a little bit when you get some stuff going. Um, so the first thing I wanted to talk today about was upgrades. So there are some upgrades that you can make for these machines. Uh, the first one, I there are some speed upgrades you make. Um, those are okay. Um, and some energy upgrades. Those are really nice to reduce the amount of energy that you consume per tick, as well as increasing the amount of energy that you store in case you overconsume that energy. Um, so that each one act, will act like its own battery, almost, and they will consume less per tick with that upgrade. So, what first thing I've done is I've crafted some items, um, and I'll show you what I've done. Um, so I've made a few of these tier upgrades. So these guys are super expensive, um, so I sat down and kind of planned these out and crafted them. Um, so I, I'll show you real quick. Um, the basic tier installer is these basic control circuits, some planks, some iron, redstone. That's basic stuff that we've seen before. This advanced tier installer is stuff we saw in the last episode. So we, we know the alloys, we know the osmium. These advanced control circuits we saw in the last episode, which are the basic control circuits and the infused alloys. This is where we get some new stuff the elite tier. This requires reinforced alloys, which I'll show you how to craft, and elite control circuits, which I'll, well, I'll show you how to craft. And then the ultimate tier contains atomic alloys and ultimate control circuits. So what I did is I took a bunch of my diamonds and processed them in the enrichment chamber, just like I'm doing with my redstone here. Enriched them and dropped them in here so that we've got some diamonds in here. Um, and then I'm going to take some coal and go ahead and do that so we've got a stock of coal in here. Um, and I need to take some of this obsidian that I harvested and put it in the enrichment chamber and basically do the same thing. Uh, it'll turn it into uh, obsidian dust, which you can put through this to make, enrich it with diamond, which then goes back in the enricher and then goes in this final machine here. I consumed everything I had <laughs> with those crafts. I was kind of expensive so uh, I do need to refill that so I'll show you guys how to do that. I'm going to go ahead and toss the obsidian in so we can get our obsidian dust um, and then slap this redstone in here. So first things first, basic tier, know how to do that. Advanced tier, know how to do that. Elite tier, so first things first, reinforced alloy. That requires one of these infused alloys in with the diamonds. So that's, that's real simple. Um, we'll grab some of our iron from this. We'll toss it in here and we'll infuse it. And then um, this elite control circuit is basically these infused alloys, two of them, around the advanced control circuit we saw last time, which is the basic with the infused alloys. So that's not too bad. So when, now that you know how to make these, you can easily make these with the other control circuits. So the infused alloy, we take that guy and we put him in here with the diamonds. And he'll come out with that diamond alloy. Getting some dust in here. Not going to need that much. Um, the obsidian is actually pretty useful because it gives you four dust. So here's our reinforced alloy. So we can use this to make quite a few things. But most importantly right now is these tier upgrades. We can make these with those. It requires four of these and then two for these. So total it requires eight, which is one of the diamonds that's been enriched. So one diamond per elite tier installer. That's not too bad. Um, the ultimate tier installer requires these atomic alloys, which are the reinforced alloys put through the refined obsidian. So this goes in here, but we need the refined obsidian. We refine that by putting it in here and enriching it. And once we enrich it, we get refined obsidian dust. We use that in the 
enrichment chamber and we get enriched obsidian. That's super efficient stuff. So what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll enrich it. I'm going to go ahead and toss a few more of these in here. We'll fill this guy up now that I've got some more obsidian. Um, there we go. So this is the reason I built four machines, because each one's going to have an excess of its stuff in here. Um, for now, we'll put one in there, and this, this is going to enrich into the upgraded tier. And we're going to enrich some of this charcoal for the coal. There we go. So now we have the atomic alloy. That's used for this recipe. So this requires four atomic alloys here, and four more here for a total of eight. So these are the elite control circuits we made from last time with two atomic alloys on either side. One on either side for a total of two. So that's how we make these guys. So it did require quite a bit of obsidian and diamonds, but I like to think that these upgrades are worth it. Um, I usually build these upgrades first uh, for the speed or energy if I can, just because it really kind of speeds up the, the process of, of um, processing this stuff. So right now you can see that we've got 22 osmium in one slot that's making every so often. So what I want to do is I want to toss this basic tier installer on there. And now you see we've got three slots. We turn on auto sort, and we can, if we have the energy, cook up to three items at one time. So obviously we don't have the energy right now, um, so that's going to be an issue. But for right now, it even if it only processes the one, it still processes at the same speed and the same cost as it did before. So upgrading to the new factories are really nice. If you've got an excess of power, it's just going to process faster. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this with the advanced, the elite, and the ultimate. And you can see the ultimate. Boom. we got a ton of slots all at once. So if we had a ton of power pumping into here, or if we had the energy upgrade, which makes this a lot more energy efficient, we would be cooking all these guys at once, and we'd get all these slots filled at once, which would all be pumping into here. So we're going to do the same thing with the crusher, and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to consume the same amount of power. If we put auto sort on, it'll split what is in the first slot. So you can see we got osmium here, but the iron split up into all these different slots. So it's going to process whatever it can first. So it looks like this one's actually processing both iron and a little bit of osmium at the same time which is nice. And so then we're going to upgrade this guy the same way. And he's going to do the same thing. Auto sort, you don't have a whole lot going on right now because this guy's kind of slow. But as the process comes in, it will continue to fill these other slots. And he actually doesn't consume a whole lot of energy because he don't have a whole lot coming in at once. Uh, we'll go ahead and upgrade this guy. same thing. This, um, we're going to put this on this crusher here, and we'll actually have an extra, basically an extra bulk of biofuel. Um, so we'll actually, this will actually give us a lot more of a buffer of biofuel before we have to worry about refilling this guy. Um, so if this guy goes empty, we know we still got a little bit here, and then we don't have to worry about it running completely out if this is empty. Um, so we can do this with the infusers as well, so even though these infusers take this redstone, it's just going to increase the amount of redstone that it can store, and the amount of items it can process at once. So you can see all that redstone I had in there is all down here. So all this redstone dumped in there, so I don't have my excess redstone anymore. Um, so I'm going to have an excess of carbon right now, you can see 16, but when I upgrade this, There we go. No more excess. It's all dumped in there. Same thing with our diamonds. We're going to toss some upgrades in here. And same thing with this guy. We're toss some upgrades in here. We're going to turn both of these on. And then this guy is actually going to go in here. So I could actually make some for those guys too. Um, I just didn't plan them. So maybe I'll take a second to go ahead and craft those. 
Yeah, because I want to be able to put multiple items in the enrichment chamber and get out at the same time. If I want to, if I want to enrich all these types of items at the same time, I don't want to have to wait on the one infusing. Um, I do have this infusing enriching chamber, I should say. I do have this enriching chamber here, but I don't want to use this and slow down our work processing or actually get stuff caught in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause for right now. I'm gonna go. Uh oh, I need some more of this. We got quite a few of that. So that should mostly fill that up. Um, so I'm going to take a pause here, let this run, let those run. Um, and then I'm, while, in the meantime, I'm going to craft some of the upgrades for these two guys. They do have plenty of supplies left after my last run. So uh, let's see here. So I'm going to upgrade these two guys uh, to factories, and then I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, so it took me a few minutes, but I did craft the tier upgrades, so I want to put those guys into place. That gives us plenty of space to cook all these refined obsidian dust. See how quick they go? Quick, quick goes for our power too, but for now it's a, it's a really good upgrade. Um, if we have any excess power, It'll really chew through some of this stuff real quick. So I got these upgrades. I'm going to turn these auto sorts on. Give us some more obsidian for this little guy. And there we go. So I think I'm going to... I think that's going to be that. Um, the next thing I could probably do is upgrade. So I want to make these speed upgrades. I want to make the energy upgrades first. So gold dust, infused alloys, and glass. So I should have some glass in here. I need some gold dust. So I need eight per. One, two. Oh, let me go ahead and take these guys out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I really need eighty-eight. Uh, this could be a great two, can't okay. it? Um, let's see. Energy and speed. So twelve. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 right now, so I want to make 12 of these. So that's actually 12 times 8. So that's 96. So that's a stack and a half. So do we have enough? We should have enough gold. There's a stack. We should have a half a stack in here. Oh, yeah, easy. So. I don't have a crusher, but I can use this crusher here once it processes the ores because we're almost out. So it's going to be a stack and a half. Um, so we're going to need a, a, quite a bit more glass. And we are out of sand. So I'm going to give me some more sand. Um, I'm going to get some of this stuff ready. And then I'll probably go ahead and make, um, what is that, energy upgrade, where you at, where you at, where you at, there we go. Probably going to make some of these alloys with the iron we've got, go ahead and get all that ready, and then I'll be right back. Okay guys, um, some time has passed, and I went through and made all the items necessary to make this upgrade. Um, I made a stack and a half, which is the energy upgrade. That took quite a bit of our resources, but we need to get some XP out of it. Um, so I'm going to start from the left, and we're going to put it in this electrolytic separator. So what that's going to do is increase the power storage by significantly, but it's actually going to require it's actually going to use like almost no energy. That one is, uh, so that's nice. This one currently we're storing 144 kFe. The new storage is 1.44 MFE, which is nice. 
and the usage is going down to 8 FE per tick, which is nice. This one's 20 FE per tick, and it's going to go down to 2 FE per tick. So that's like a 90% decrease. I'm going to pop this on all these guys. Save us quite a bit of power. Because it did take quite a bit of power to burn through uh, some of those ingredients to make this. Let's see here. And lastly, there we go. So as you can see, I was really running out of energy down here. Um, once these guys fill up, then I shouldn't have a problem down here. The problem right now he's getting is because our cables in the background need to be upgraded. Um, we, do, we, do, we have the basic ones, which don't transfer a lot of energy. Uh, so this cube is not keeping up. Max output is 320 FE per tick. And this guy is pulling everything he can to fill this buffer. So is everybody else along this chain. So right now, everything, all as our all our buffers are filling up, it's going to take some time for us to to really get that flushed out. I'm going to take some of these seeds and go ahead and so I can plop these in here, and I'm going to put seeds on top. That'll let us once we consume the the wheat biofuel, we can start cooking some seeds. Actually, I can do this. Go ahead and let the seeds filter in, and that'll work. And then that'll fill back up. Let's see here. Okay, cool. That works. So all of our stuff is upgraded with the energy upgrades. Those are nice. We're going to consume a lot less energy now. Um, these processes will be going a lot faster. We'll get a lot more of this stuff once we get some more ore to put in here. Um, so that, that's kind of where I think I'm going to wrap it up for today. Um, this has been a nice little, little upgrade. We've got quite a bit here um, done uh, as far as upgrades go. Next time I do want to make the speed upgrades. That will consume more energy, but it will run a lot faster. And I might think about making the muffling upgrades to kind of make these guys a little quieter. Because if, if you haven't noticed, they do make, tend to make a good bit of noise when you're in here. Hear that? Yeah, it makes a good bit of noise. So I'm going to probably make a muffler upgrade for these guys to quiet them down. Um, I believe it's four muffler upgrades per machine, whereas the energy was eight. So, yeah, I think we've got pretty good progress made. Um, we do need to upgrade our pipes here because of all this power we're starting to pull. Um, but we'll worry about that next time. Maybe we'll uh, upgrade our pipes and upgrade the... Uh, oh, we can upgrade these pipes, too. Uh, we can upgrade all those, and then maybe we can start uh, upgrading the machines with some speed and some mufflers. Um, but that, I'm going to be it for now. Um, if you liked the episode, leave a comment down in the comment box below. Uh, let me know if you have any suggestions, comments, concerns, questions, anything. Um, I'll chat with you guys down there. Uh, leave a like on the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button and the bell if you want to be notified, because uh, I am going to be posting on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And this is not all going to be Minecraft. Um, I'm going to mix up the game some. I do like Minecraft, and I do like this build that we're kind of doing here, but uh, I do want to kind of mix it up some, so we will be mixing up some other games in here. Uh, leave a comment if you have a suggestion of another game you want to see me play. Um, I'll take whatever, honestly. I don't, I don't mind trying new things out. Um, so, yeah. Um, but that's it for this episode. Uh, we'll wrap it up here, and next time we'll come back and make some more upgrades, and then maybe move on to another mod um, for the time being. So thank you guys for checking the episode out. Uh, my socials are in the description below. Go check all that stuff out. Got some awesome merch. Buddy of mine did some art, so that, uh, that's pretty awesome. Um, if you see my TikTok, I've got a, a video of me wearing the mask on there, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but other than that, you know, I've been Gamer Joe, and this has been Plunger. See you guys next week.